they do to you? Batman! Hello? Right here. Hang on. Come here. Yeah. <sighs> Are you okay? Goodness! Got some real anger issues, Batman. What do you mean? I saved your life. What are you doing here? I'm looking for the missing prisoners. Oh, now you care about the prisoners? Where was this concern when you were punching your way through Blackgate last Christmas? Hmm? Let's go. All right, all right. Easy. You can just give it to me and I'll go. Uh oh. Wow, you ain't exactly subtle. She likes explosions. Going after Crane. We have to find these missing inmates. And come and call Alfred. Master Bruce, it is good to see you. Good to see you too, Alfred. I was beginning to worry. I need more intel on the two doctors, Quinzel and Crane. Sounds like a job for Oracle. Okay, patch her in. Tell me about Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Unlike her academic, research-focused colleague, Dr. Quinzel comes from an actual therapeutic background, after getting her doctorate from the University of Gotham. Four messages? What is this? Bruce, it's Vicky. Vicky Vale. Huh? Look, this isn't about you standing me up. Again. Oh, I forgot. This day of rest stuff has me scared. Alfred, remind me to message Vicky Vale back. Mr. Wayne, it's Lucius Fox. Lucius. I've been looking over the financials. I found some irregularities in the applied sciences budget. Alfred, reply to Lucius and have him handle that. Who else we got here? Hey Bruce, it's Harvey. Um, Harvey. I love you like a brother, Bruce. Uh, but you need to get your priorities straight. Call me back, or at least call Leslie. Tell her you're sorry. Harvey. <sighs> hey, it's Selena. Selena. Uh, Gotham's a mess, as usual. If it's not bats, it's rats. Which is my angelic uh. term for a few days. Crap. Where are you hiding, Batman? Coward. Sick. Remove her. Would someone explain why all of the heart monitors in the gardens are blinking? You, show me the closed circuit footage. This better not mean what I think it means. Crane's working late. I'll get answers from him directly. <coughs> oh, that had to hurt. Oh, everyone's getting shot gloves. <sighs> Broken leg. Another. Let's go. I'm the knight. Was this wing of Arkham Ward here the last time you came through? Let's try to disrupt their guns. How do you do this? SMG detected. Okay. Got it. Cool. That's the first one up. It's okay. Now we know how to do it. I'll cut that man right off. Let's go. Inbound, sir. Here it comes. This is so cool. Let's go, baby. <clears throat> My favorite gadget. Bat claw. What? Upgrading. No, you'll literally have some pull around here. Look at this. You kidding me? Oh, nice screen rope. That's amazing. Now I can head back down. 
Let's go, baby. Ready? Sonic Batarang. No one heard a noise. Time to make a round in. Check this out. I got three of them. Or two of them. We got trouble. Here we go. Dr. Shadow. Check in at the back computer. Alright. Enough of being matches. Cool. Listen to the music. Going after Crane. We have to find these missing inmates. And come and call Alfred. Master Bruce. It is good to see you. Good to see you too, Alfred. I was beginning to worry. Just worry, Alfred? I might have had the Batwing on standby, and a plan to trigger a prison evacuation. What happened? The Day of Wrath... Tomorrow, I know. Malone was in solitary. Did you find the Rat King there? No, but I have a lead. I need more intel on the two doctors, Quinzel and Crane. Sounds like a job for Oracle. Okay, patch her in. Welcome back, Batman. So, Harleen Quinzel and Jonathan Crane? That it? Because I already took the liberty of preparing dossiers on every major figure in- Just the doctors. Are you sure? Because I've been digging up some fascinating stuff about this guy who runs- Thank you, Oracle. Guy who runs what? Who is she going to talk about? Dr. Jonathan Crane. Tell me about Crane. Dr. Crane's early years in pre-med were unremarkable, but as a postdoc, he really came into his own. Turns out people notice when you fire a live round in a crowded classroom to illustrate a point about fear. He would have been fired if he hadn't been so brilliant at securing what every university needs, funding. In the end, he was the subject of a bidding war between institutes, resulting in a handsome offer. Interesting. An offer he turned down to take Hugo Strange's position as Director of Rehabilitation at Blackgate. It was, he said in his acceptance letter, the perfect place to shine a light on humanity's darkest depths. Or maybe he just enjoyed the heady combo of endless test subjects and little oversight. His published research at Blackgate focuses on the Jungian concept of the shadow, the subconscious id held in check by the ego. By doing shadow work, you can integrate the id and the ego and become a more fully realized individual. That's the theory, at least. If you ask me, though, Dr. Crane's less about shadow work and more about making people jump at their own shadows. Agreed. Tell me about Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Unlike her academic, research-focused colleague, Dr. Quinzel comes from an actual therapeutic background, after getting her doctorate from the University of Gotham. She's also on the record as saying she believes there's a good person inside everyone. Which is a pretty impressive position to take, considering the caliber of her current patients at Blackgate. Agreed. What else you got? Her tenure at Blackgate hasn't been without scandal, she was implicated in a quid pro quo exchange of favors with previous warden, Martin Joseph. And her kinder, gentler approach to therapy makes her an odd fit for an institution run by jackboots like Tiger. New Black Age Shrink changes doctor views. She returned my feeling of hope after I thought it was lost forever, said a prison inmate. There's a light in everyone, and Tiger's Black Age is giving me the chance to make everyone shine. I think she means well. While her ideologies might be agreeable, and she means well, her tactics on healing the mentally insane might not be the best way to go. All right, what else she you got? She does seem determined to make at least one prisoner in the place break good before she gets kicked out. Joe. And you know, she might just have a chance. We'll see about that, Oracle. Maybe Harleen can help us. Alfred. 
I've outlined the location of each doctor's office, sir. As you can see, they've divided Arkham Ward into two hemispheres of influence. Dr. Crane on the left, and Dr. Quinzel on the right. Noted. Get to the gardens, cool. Okay. Get to the gardens. All right, awesome. It's so cool, you can travel back to the city and go to all these locations using the gadgets like the explosive gel and the shock gloves and unlock and try to find other trophies. I'm definitely doing that. What's this? I remember this here. Four messages? What is this? Bruce, it's Vicky. Vicky Vale. Huh? Look, this isn't about you standing me up. Again. Oh, I forgot. This day of rest stuff has me scared. You're probably long gone from Gotham by now, but some of us can't afford to leave. My dad's at Gotham General, and I don't know what to do with him. Are you using the country house? I'd love to move him there if I could. Until we know what's gonna happen. Alfred, remind me to message Vicky Vale back. This is so cool! Have I not been checking this, or is this new? Mr. Wayne? It's Lucius Fox. Lucius. I've been looking over the financials. I found some irregularities in the applied sciences budget. Nothing I wasn't expecting, of course, but something that might stick out to anyone else who was interested in examining the records. We'll need to make a few adjustments to make sure it all adds up. Mm. <laughs> Unless, of course, you want one of the shareholders to do the math and no. ask why we spent enough money to build a stealth jet last year. That's Just right. let me know and... I'll handle this end. Alfred, reply to Lucius and have him handle that. Who else we got here? Hey Bruce, it's Harvey. Um, Harvey. Alfred told me you're out of town, and uh, look, you should have been at the courthouse to help set up the fundraiser. You weren't, and when the wretch showed up, Les Leslie raised us. But when she needed our help, I was the only one there. Harvey! I've been on fumes with this <sighs> whole Rat King business, and I still managed to be there while you were... I don't even know. I love you like a brother, Bruce. But you need to get your priorities straight. Call me back, or at least call Leslie. Tell her you're sorry. Harvey... <sighs> I was there, Harvey. I can't tell him. It'll put him at danger. Leslie knows. Harvey thinks I don't care. I'm letting him down. I don't know what to do. This is so amazing. Hey, it's Selena. Selena? Ugh, Gotham's a mess, as usual. If it's not bats, it's rats. Which is my angelic home <laughs> for a few days. Rome. Rome's a mess too, but you know, in a more charming way. Plus, I may have some family there. Or at least I have some questions for Louisa Falcone, even if I won't like the answers. Louisa Falcone. Besides, the Saint Gertrude Emerald is on display at the Vatican, and I've always wanted to see it for myself. Hey, steal it. Come out and meet me, and maybe we can cash that rain check. <laughs> Ta-ta for now, Bruce. Selena Kyle. She's trouble, Alfred, but I like her. Do me a favor and message Selena. Tell her we'll be in touch soon after everything in Gotham blows over. This is so cool. Vicky Vale, Lucius, Harvey Dent, Selena Kyle. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Charge this up! There we go. I wonder where this leads. What is that?
Oh damn, look, I'm all ripped up. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and the bicep too. Damn. Alfred, I'm gonna need a new suit after this. Jammer in range. Alfred, I'm accessing a new wing of the Batcave. <sighs> Jammer. The gardens. Tiger person. Interim Commander Brandon. This is Dr. Jonathan Crane. Crane. Please continue your patrol. But do not mistake my patience for any of your all too regular escapees. I do not wish to be disturbed while I'm playing. You might hide in plain sight to other people. But to me. I know. And if you think I'm gonna let you torture my Dr. Quincy, this is wildly inappropriate. No, don't touch those. Uh, uh, Christ on a conduct disorder. Can you please leave? Damn. Gotta get over there. Sniper's pointing at me. Watch your back. Gotta get this other sniper, and there's one more over there. Got him in my Threw smoke down. Gotta move, gotta move. Alright. Let's go. Moving good. Where's that jammer? Communicate, people. I think that's the jammer. I'll try to use the uh, disruptor. We haven't used that yet. How do we get this guy? Jammer down. Someone's offline. Find him. Four hostiles. That is so cool. All right, let's try to jam this guy. Invalid target. So I can't jam his gun? I don't get that. See that work? I don't know what's going on with that. You are ah, crap. Here we go. Try to get this guy. Damn, this guy's down for the count. My favorite glutton for punishment. Come on. Here they come. Try to get this guy. Crap. Where are you hiding, Batman? Gardens are blinking? You! Show me the closed circuit footage! This better not mean what I think it means. Crane's working late. I'll get answers from him directly. <coughs> oh! That had to hurt. Get answers from him directly. Alright. 
Like, let's see what that disruptor thing is. Disruptor. Complete the hacking sequence. So I'm obviously messing that up. Let's do ammo. Actually. Yeah, let's do disruptor ammo. Sweet. Okay. It's so cool you can find radio stations like this. I'm Big Sage, Big Six Sage. Today we bring you a special interview with Commissioner James Gordon. Big Sage? Not an interview he agreed to, but one he agreed to, but one he's obligated to give, considering our taxes pay his salary. Here it is, complete and uncut. Commissioner Gordon! Oh, for the love of get away from me, Sage. You owe the people some answers. Half of Gotham is terrified, and the other half is in prison. Is that your idea of protecting and serving? Sage. No comment, Victor. That's not a denial. You think this is how I... <laughs> you used to be a solid reporter, but I get it. Believe me, that's the last conspiracy. <laughs> ah! Chaos oh. is facing the truth, that this is just the world we live in. Get help, Vic. Maybe find a healthier line of work. God knows I should. And with that... He drove off. It's sad. <laughs> He's a decent man, but the job is eating him alive. Probably tearing his family apart. It is. He clings to a system and power dynamic that is rotten to the core because he's also a part of it. He's too afraid to start over and ask the right questions. Mm. Try to open this. The glass house. Yeah, that's where we're headed, so let's check over here. See something over there. <clears throat> All right. Ugh, nice red radio. Right. <clears throat> 18 out of 40. Doing good. I love hacking these things. I was wondering how they were going to do, like, hacking in VR. There we go. Okay. I'm playing this on Halloween right now. Happy Halloween, everybody. This will probably be after Halloween when I upload it, but... Cool, look at this one. Eight seconds. Okay. Okay, so we got eight seconds to get over there. Got eight seconds. Let's go. We go like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Just made it. That was awesome. Grappled, canceled. And then sprinted in. What is going on here? Here we go. Cool. Battering puzzle. It's the Rat King working with the Riddler. Oh, Bruce hasn't met Riddler in the timeline yet, right? He was calling him something else in Arkham Origins, I believe. That's something up there. <laughs> yeah, I need the backlaw for that. That's so cool. You're gonna be able to use the backlaw? That's literally my favorite gadget in all the Arkham games. I mean, it's basically the grapnel gun. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. What's up with that? Something in this maze. This is perfect playing this part on Halloween. 
Here we go. Here's number one. And we got a map here. Okay, so here's number one. There's number two. Okay, if that's two, then it looks like we gotta go around to number three. There's four. So number three should be over here. Yep. Now number four. This is cool, this one. And run around to five. Should be over here. go that's five now we're facing this way six should be right over here yep now should be open oh there's seven cool that was awesome that one just for a rat radio 19 out of 40. Moving on. Gotta come back for the back hall, and there's a vent over there. Alright, heading into the glass house. He's gotta fix that door! Poison Ivy in here? Oh boy. Looks like we're getting into a fight. Surprise attack. That feels good. Okay, Cape Sun enemy redirect for aerial attack. Okay, so you got a Cape Sun, then jump over. That's right. Oh, let's go. Oh, here we go. Where is it? Oh, yeah. You promise me this, Batman. I promise Like this. Oh, shock gloves are awesome. Me too. Oh, haymakers. Oh, everyone's getting shot gloves. Broken leg. Another. Let's go. I'm the knight. Was this wing of Arkham Ward here the last time you came through? Under renovation and unoccupied. It had no strategic value to Penguin, Joker, or Black Mask. Very likely the reason it lacks gaping holes in its masonry. And thankfully so. It's an Art Deco treasure. Vintage Gotham. Interesting take, Alfred. Okay. Got a locked gate on top of that ladder. Glass house is locked. Glass house. Okay. Got a switch there that we gotta get through with the grates. Check it out. Man, I love the soundtrack in this. It's so good. Here we go. Oh cool, you could have came up here and did like an aerial attack. Okay. Let me get a different angle. Here we go.
Selena, she's in Rome. The gate's down. Here we go. Gate's down. <sighs> Looks like I need the back claw to get into there. Heading into the glass house. Dr. Quinzel is your friend. Finally. The Batman, however, is on the move. Tiger, I must insist you now do what you failed to do under Captain Bolton. Crane needs to be stopped. <sighs> Batman's back, and so are those pain in the ass locks. It was nice while it lasted. So much for Brandon's I scared the Batman off act. I never bought it in the first place. Need to take these guys out. Really wish those guys who went to secure Quinzel would hurry back. I want backup for the bat. They'll probably call backup for her. You saw what she did to Queen's office. And between those two, she's the good cop. He's right about that. See, that's why it's cool to wait, because they save more things. Like, unless you just want to play, you know? The inmate Crane's keeping back there weirds me out. Who? <laughs> He's a twig. A twig can still poke your eye out. That's true. Smart man. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Keep something you can't jump over him. All right, boys, you guys are good. Not good enough, though. Let's go. Gotta get used to the shield. Alfred, Alfred, where's Crane's office? Doctors Crane and Quinzel have separate offices that branch from patient intake. Where you entered, it's on the balcony to your right. The balcony to our right. Patient intake. Tiger guards are a lot harder, Alfred. They come equipped with shields and armor. Time to upgrade. Okay, what else can we do? Sabotage Jammer. Might as well do that, peg that out. 
Sneak the hack in sequence. We gotta try that out. I could have hacked that guy. Okay. So if we have to go that way. I can get to Crane's office through patient intake. Look at tower. It's locked. Alright, patient intake. Just head up by the statue. Okay. What does this do? Oh, cool. So I'm guessing you come back here and it's a Silent Predator map. All right, let's go. <laughs> Patient intake. Whatever Crane's up to will help me find the Rat King. Patient intake will lead me to Crane's office. Arkham Ward. Dr. Crane and Dr. Quinzel. This is cool, man. What? Alfred, we should hang this in the study. <laughs> it speaks to me. Very well, sir. I'll prepare the Picasso for storage. Yeah, get rid of the Picasso. Something about this truly speaks to me. Kidding me? Oh, it's a chicken. And for a second, I thought it was a robin. <laughs> it speaks to me, Alfred. Something about my future is trying to tell me something with birds and towers. <laughs> oh. Okay. What's going on in here? Who's out there? That looks like another Picasso. Going in. Quinzel's Le office is on the right. Cranes on the left. Two hemispheres of Arkham Ward, which make patient intake the corpus colossum. Good and evil. Very heavy themes of duality, Alfred. I love how the whole game is like a shadow and duality, like you're going from Bruce Wayne to Batman and also like matches Malone, like villain Bruce Wayne to hero. Then you're dealing with the doctors, it's split in half, Crane, and then Quinzel who's trying to help. Like we know she eventually becomes Harley Quinn, but right now she's a good nurse trying to help people, you know what I mean? Sad, lonely, depressed, we are here to help. Style Zero. Oh cool, more of these things. Solomon Wayne. My great-grandfather. The Benefactor. Born in 1867, the Honorable Judge Solomon Wayne, in his August years, and moved by the young Amadeus's plaintive tale of maternal loss, offered to fund and help found the ill-fated Arkham Asylum. My great-great-grandfather helped fund and create Arkham Asylum. Elizabeth Arkham. The Proud Matriarch. Born in 1858, Amadeus Arkham's mother Elizabeth encouraged her son to pursue a life in medicine before her own mental health got the better of her. Her tragedy inspired Amadeus to create Arkham Asylum. Amadeus Arkham. That Arkham Asylum comic is one of my favorites. So many great the descriptions of the paintings hold the clues to solving this. The descriptions to the paintings? Cyrus Pinkney. He looks like Crane. The collaborator. Born in 1882, visionary architect Cyrus Pinkney, impressed by Amadeus Arkham's medical genius and passion for psychiatric care, drafted the blueprints for the doomed Arkham Asylum. Doomed is right. Constance Arkham. 
a beloved wife. Born in 1890, Constance Arkham, Amadeus's partner in all matters of the heart, designed many of Arkham Asylum's patient care facilities before her life was cut short by a senseless and brutal murder. She was murdered, Alfred. Harriet Arkham. The dear daughter. Born in 1913, Harriet, Amadeus and Constance Arkham's only child, possessed of the same great intellect, insight, and scientific curiosity as her parents, was slain by the same disturbed man who took her mother. Jeez. It's nice to take a break, too, after fighting a lot, you know? Check Quinn's side. It's my worst nightmare. I personally, like, legitimately had night terrors as a kid with a giant bat. It had nothing to do with Batman. I remember watching, it was like a Tales from the Crypt episode or something. I forget what it is. Like a Tales from the Crypt movie or something. There's this giant bat that rips the guy out. I saw it when I was like six years old or something in the middle of the night. It terrified me. I had nightmares for weeks that this thing was just gonna crash into my window and rip me out while my brothers and parents were watching me scream. You'll find Dr. Crane's office at the end of a hallway that branches from patient intake. Don't interrupt me, I Alfred. Marked its location on your map. Thank you. You've already said that. <laughs> anyway. And I remember I already liked Batman, so I would watch Batman more and more to try to get over the nightmares. Like, I had those nightmares for like a month straight. It was probably only a week, but it felt like it was a month. Waking up in the middle of the night, sweating that this bat, giant bat, werewolf creature is gonna rip me out of my window. I used to watch Batman and he would like inspire me, make me get over my fear. And I actually think it's like kind of cool, you know? And clowns are my other greatest fear. Anyways, the clowns scared the shit out of me as a kid. It's one of the big reasons why I'm a diehard Batman fan. Clowns and that giant bat thing, and Bruce using his fear to stop monsters. So cool. Love it. You'll find Dr. Crane's office at the end of a hallway that branches from patient intake. Gotcha, Alfred, sorry. Its location on <laughs> He's like, I Dr. keep telling you, Bruce. Shut <laughs> branches from patient intake. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm on a its location on your map. Alright, now you're messing with me, Alfred. Put it out. <laughs> That's a nice one too, Alfred. That one speaks to me. Oh boy. How many cranes? Left ward. Looks like a level two security lock, sir. Level Dr. Quinzel got in before. She can get me inside. Bruh. Can I have gone back over there? So it's going the right way, Alfred. Are you messing with me? Oh! <laughs> Take the armored guy out. Mess you up. Come on. You ain't got a chance. Let's go. Stay out of my way! <laughs> right. The hell's going on? I feel like I've seen how she treats prisoners. And Malone. She's not perfect, but she cares. It's open. Another hyena poster. Medication matters. We're in her vertigo. Quinzel wants her patients to process what they're going through. For that, they need time alone. And something better than solitary. 
So she makes it nice for them in here to try to heal them. She's a good doctor. Arnold Wesker. We got enemies up ahead. Oh, cool. What happened in here? Wesker. He's giving him cute little rabbits. Stuffed animals, penguin. <laughs> penguin. What happened in here? All right, moving on. Winslow shot. Your dirty jackboats out of my office! This is no longer your office, Dr. Quinzel. Oh, really? I don't take orders from pigs! You were told to clean out your desk and vacate the premises. Instead, you attacked Dr. Crane and ransacked his office. Dumb shits! Dr. Crane is the Rat King! What? Who's who all of Gotham's been looking for? Restrain her and find that access card. Is Crane the Rat King? Hey! We gotta help Dr. Harleen. Ever heard of conflict de escalation? This is for your own good, Doc. Where's the access card? Where's the access card? Listen to yourself. Controlling behavior much? She's locked in. I need a way around. Here we go. A vent. Too high to grab. Alfred, prepare to airdrop the Bat Claw. What? The point in Arkham Ward. Let's go. There's a lookout tower, sir. I've marked it on your map. Return to the conservatory and proceed to the door directly across the room. Heading there now. Let's make it quick. She needs our help. <sighs> Going straight ahead. They are on loan from Gotham University's botany department. One of their faculty actually understands the value of my research. Let's try to disrupt their guns. How do you do this? Hey, Batman! I'll finish the job for Tiger and kill you myself. Oh, I don't think you'll well, like that. It's Wesker. Get away from that, you foul mouth finger puppet. <laughs> SMG detected. Okay. Got it. Cool. That's the first one up. It's okay. Now we know how to do it. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> Oh shit. Who's got the gun? Armor guy. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, shock up time. Here we go. There they are. You're dead. Rage! 
It's just like unbelievably satisfying. Look out, tower. Here we go. Okay. Is there not a single working elevator in Blackgate besides the medieval gibbet? That's exactly what I was thinking, Alfred. You can override the lockdown with your shock gloves. You'll find a maintenance generator above the carriage. There you go. <sighs> okay. I can power the elevator with the shock gloves at the backup generator. I dare say, Master Bruce, you repair almost as much on your investigations as you destroy. How the hell do we get out of here, Alfred? Here we go. Let's see if there's anything down here first. Nice. 20 out of 40. I can tear down that grate with the bat claw. Here we go. Bring it down. Had enough. Some additional information on Dr. Crane for you, sir. What's that? His connection with the Gotham University Botany Department is one Dr. Pamela Isley. Pamela the Isley. Seems particularly invested in a flower with unique properties that once grew wild on Blackgate Island. Anything further on Dr. Quinzel? In progress, sir. Pamela Isley. That's so cool, Poison Ivy. He's working with Dr. Pamela Isley. That's so cool that they're referencing her. Alright. Such bullshit. We got a bird's eye view of the perimeter, but no guns. Waste of ammo. If anyone tried to escape, they'd be dead on the rocks below. <sighs> yeah. I guess that'd be fun to watch. Ha! <laughs> okay, no guns. Cool. We'll make the captain's offer. Take down Batman, get a promotion? Anything from Brandon that rewards merit. Sounds like a sucker punch to me. There's no room in Tiger Brass for guys who play by the rules. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. All right. <laughs> you take down Batman, and I'll take the credit. <laughs> Give me your best shot. Someone order a headache? <clears throat> Let's go! I'll break your jaw, <clears throat> Let's go! <clears throat> Been training for this. <clears throat> Get both of you. Kill you. Oh shit. Are you the shield guy? <clears throat> Come on. Damn, yeah, another shield guy. Jump off a guy and then go to another guy? That's fucking amazing. Come on. Let's go. Let's 
go. 59 combo, not bad. Another anti aircraft gun. I shall await its destruction, sir. Let's go. Upgrade point. What do we got? This game has just been an absolute blast. One of my favorite experiences in gaming, period. Not even just VR. Silent Stalker. Harder to spot while crouched. Nice. Okay, how are we getting that? Can't throw it through there. Yup. <sighs> Climb up just enough. <sighs> the gate's open. I can access the anti aircraft gun. Let's go. Let's get this off. Inbound, sir. Here it comes. This is so cool. Let's go, baby. <clears throat> My favorite gadget. Bat claw. What? I wish they allowed you to hold the grappling gun like this. It is really cool how it comes out of your wrist, though. Can't lie. Upgrading. No, you'll literally have some pull around here. <sighs> Security shut down. I need another way back. Let's go. Perhaps the mat claw will help you sooner than expected. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice screen rope. <sighs> That's there. amazing. Now I can head back down. Let's go, baby. It has been brought to my attention. Three weeks for a shot high yield fertilizer from Ace Chemicals. Tiger, you will either deal with the bat or become mulch. The choice is yours. Going down. Dr. Quinzel has quite the history, it turns out. Exonerated for a forged diagnosis, declaring Julian Day sane and thus fit for execution. Calendar man. Apparently, she was pressured by a supervisor. She also testified that she acted to minimize the harm done by a corrupt system. Though she has been reprimanded for favoritism, she seems sincere. Recidivism among her patients is below average. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever her flaws, she's here for the right reasons. I just hope she stays that way. I saw a vent from the roof of the elevator. There it is. That's awesome. <laughs> Where are we going? Here's the silent predator in here. Attention, Tiger person. Quit interrupting me with updates about that. Working with Tessa. <laughs> patience is my job. Batman is yours. The key to conquering fear is to confront it at the source. So confront, but do it quietly. See the inmates who get set here? Fighting, talking, not getting beat by Falcone's goons. I wouldn't go that far. Only Crane's lab rest. Let's go. Took out the jammers. Oh my god, they do such a good job making you feel like Batman. This is phenomenal. I always feel like Batman. Whoever did this hits damn hard. Go ahead. I can hit even harder. Seriously? 
Cut the crap and cut me down! Feels like a double team is in order. Ready? Think we might Sonic Batarang. You know I heard a noise. Time to make a round in. Check this out. <laughs> I got three of them. Or oh, two of them. We got trouble. Let's go. That's awesome. Get over here and watch my back. I oh, take him out. You can't hide forever, you know. Where the hell is like a double team is in order? Let's go. There we go. I had to finish that. Here we go. Ah, oh shit! Come on! Shit! Get over here and watch right now! Damn! This guy's down for the count! Whoever did this hits damn hard! Whoops! Bastard's hiding again. Help me find him. What the? Where the hell? On my position. Cover me. Come on. I must have heard this. Come on. Go get him. Let's go. Control. We've got a problem. You got a problem. Oh my god. That was sick. Let's go! I've got to get to Dr. Quinzel. Gotta get back to her. That was epic! Using the floor to shock them and then sending them flying, that was amazing. Okay. Another upgrade. Back claw. Body slam. Fire an enemy during combat that immediately strike to slam them into the ground. How do you fire it at an enemy? What? Backclaw slam. Sweet. Back to patient intake. Let's get back to Dr. Harleen. Now I can get around Quinzel's locked door. She needs our help. There she is. Let me go, you vomit brain moron! You gotta tie it up in a chair. Jeez. You been uh, drinking the night, Doc? How about you mind your own business? How about you give me that access card? Tigers as rough with the staff as they are with the inmates. Restraint is not their strong suit. I need to get Quinzel out of there. Three armed, one unarmed. We got the tots. Let's see how you like 10,000 volts. Come on. You're gonna see how to like 50,000. Ready? There it is. I'm taking you out, Bat. I'll mess you up good. Ah. Come on. I 
was like standing on him. Come on. Oh. Let's go. Over. You're safe. A little help here, Burly. What did they do to you? Let's upgrade quick. Cool. Okay. Backclaw disarm. Snatch their weapon from distance. They can pull guns out of their hands now? Are you kidding me? I just can't believe this game is this good. Batman! Hello! Right here. Hang on. Come here. Ah. <sighs> Are you okay? Goodness! You got some real anger issues, Batman. What do you mean? I saved your life. What are you doing here? I'm looking for the missing prisoners. Oh, now you care about the prisoners? Where was this concern when you were punching your way through Blackgate last Christmas? Hmm? Boop, 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 boop. I'm here to find the Rat King. The missing prisoners are connected. It's Crane. He's been taking prisoners to his office. I know. You think Crane's the Rat King? Earlier tonight, I caught him torturing one of my patients. Now, we're gonna stop him. Give me the card. I'll handle this. <laughs> nice try, Batman. Give it to me. You wanna take down Crane? You're taking me with you. It's not safe. Ah. <sighs> Guess you leave me no choice. This is so cool. We're going with Harley Quinn right now, or Dr. Harleen Quinzel. This is amazing. Let's go. All right, all right. Easy. You can just give it to me and I'll go. <gasps> Boom! Uh-oh. Wow, you ain't exactly subtle. She likes explosions. A professor of mine used to say, the evil within us will emerge from the shadows. The evil within. Crane's the worst of them, for sure. But he's not the only one. You saw how Tiger pushes me around, literally. Why do you take it? And the patience. Now I can put up with quite a lot. But the lack of respect gets a little trying. You do good work. Ooh, you hear the things they call me. Missy Q, Pumpkin Pie, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Sometimes, I don't even think they know I'm a doctor. Maybe I should wear a mask like you. No. Everyone would know who I am. I don't recommend it. Not recommend it. You're doing fine work here. Don't get me wrong. I love my patients. I want to help them. I really do. If I could get through to even just one, that would be enough. Just one. You do great work. Don't give up. Sorry, I, I tend to ramble when I'm nervous. It's fine. She's going to let that one change her too much. Hey. We know who that one is. Oh. Stay back. Holy Toledo. The snipers. I I'll let you have this one. Thank snipers. you. Snipers. He's cover to make it down this hallway without getting shot. Stay back. Using cover. Be 
careful here. Rat trophy. 21 out of 40. Oh, what are the names? Strange's archives. Hugo Strange. I fear what Professor Hugo Strange is capable of, Alfred. That's so cool. What is this? Russell Snipers. Crane and Wesker. Alright. We'll listen to that after we get past the snipers. Wait, whose name is back there? Venom Detox, Bane! Bane's in there. Or he was. Gotta look up who that is, I'll put it on the screen. <sighs> cool. Locked from the other side. Damn. If you find your way out to those sniper towers, perhaps a way in will present itself. Find my way out. Here we go. Okay. Got snipers on the towers. Train set to handle by enemy Ready? Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Quintel's clear. A rat idol. Got a big room full of tiger guards up there, Alfred. Alright, here we go. This looks sick. Look at this jump right now. Locked and loaded. Oh, that's cool. I did the back wall by accident. Oh, that's amazing. You gotta be kidding me. You okay. We gotta try that out. Gloves are off. Fight the knife. Oh. Oh. oh! Let's go, that was awesome! I promise this will hurt. Sorry, you <laughs> shot! I promise this will hurt! It's gonna die! Let's go! Here we go. Yeah, messed that up. You and me, freak! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, we didn't do that bat sword thing yet. Let's try that out. I promise this will hurt. Ready? Cool! They're swarming around hitting everybody, that's awesome! We'll kill you! I promise this will go! Get to those 
scared of you. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That was cool. Breaking you is gonna be fun. Ready? That does not get old. All right, Alfred. Let me in. Come on in. She's acting a bit strange, Alfred. Angry almost. Starting not to trust her. Took you long enough. The creep's in here. Is this a trap? Crane's pass worked earlier today. Crane must have updated the code manually. If I scan your access card to extract the base algorithm, I should be able to crack it with my decoder. Go for it, big shot. All right, Quinzel. Enough games. Thank you. Cinematic. Level two. Appreciate the help. Are you okay? Crane giving you anything? How many fingers? <laughs> She's done. She's toast. Joker got to her already. She's on Crane's drugs. Scarecrow toxin. Fear toxin. Crane's gone. Where is he? Where'd he go with my patient? Which patient? I never should have let Crane's cronies drag me out of here. You and Crane had an argument. What happened? What happened was I walked in on Crane torturing one of my patients. Anyway, I threatened to blow the whistle, and he pulls a gun. I grabbed a baseball bat to defend myself, he pulls the trigger, and it shatters to pieces. He nearly killed me. Talk about an occupational hazard. The rest of it's a blur. God knows where he went, or where he took my patient. We gotta find him, Batman. I'll search the area for evidence of Crane's whereabouts. Setting up a perimeter now. She seems to like baseball bats, Alfred. Prints are a match for Dr. Quinzel. Small traces of gunpowder residue on this bat, but the damage isn't from a bullet's impact. This was done with blunt force. Quinzel's self-defense story doesn't add up. Hmm. What are you hiding from me, Doctor? Jeez, look at her like black eyes. It's crazy. She's like a demon. She's smirking. She's hiding something. 38 caliber bullet fired from a revolver. If Quinzel was Crane's target, the bullet wouldn't be lodged at such a high angle. Quinzel isn't telling the whole truth. I'm gonna make her talk. Here we go. Quinzel wasn't just defending herself. She knocked the gun from Crane's hand before he fired, sending the bullet through the painting and the gun to the floor. 
She then swung the bat into the desk with incredible force. Quinzel's adrenaline must have been off the charts. If I may, sir, perhaps she hid the truth out of embarrassment. People with the best of intentions can lose control. I've seen it happen. Maybe. I'll keep looking for evidence of Dr. Crane's whereabouts. That gives Thug a good thump. Kidding me? That gives Thug a good thump? Harvey went big bad harm on somebody. No! I spent three months on that raid! He can't overturn the fool! He's been blocked! Like all the rest! I would like to speak with your other personality. I would like to talk with Big Bad Harv. I don't think he wants to talk. He must if we're to help you. Please try. Big Bad Hog? Speaking. Charlotte Rivers. Park Row, District Attorney Harvey Dent is no stranger to taking on Gotham's criminals in the courtroom. But yesterday, the two-fisted DA took things a step further, knocking out a defendant with a single punch. Dent was questioning Anthony Rizzoli on the stand about his alleged abuse of his six-year-old son. When Rizzoli stood up and said that his child deserved it, the remark seemed to... What are you doing exactly? Reading. One moment, it seemed to Dent, who responded as many of us wish we could with an uppercut that knocked Rizzoli unconscious and prompted a standing ovation. Dent has been publicly apologetic for the incident, admitting I let my emotions get the best of me and I'm deeply embarrassed by my actions. Harvey's losing it. They're calling him Two-Faced. <laughs> Many have hailed the prosecutor's response as being exactly what Gotham needs. He gave that scumbag what he deserved, said one observer. I'm glad I voted for Harvey Dent. Rizzoli will soon be retried by a different prosecutor. But due to the public's outspoken support, the only punitive measure against Dent is a $500 fine for contempt of court. Are you some kind of detective? I try to be. Dent has reportedly declined multiple offers from citizens seeking to help cover his related legal fees. I'm deeply embarrassed by my actions, said Harvey Dent. Harvey. Okay. Here we go, the chair. She's afraid of what I might find. Fingerprints on the chair belong to Arnold Wesker, the inmate with the ventriloquist dummy. I saw him at group therapy. No. Crane's prints on the floor suggest he dropped something. Crane was preparing a drug before Quinzel put a stop to it, prompting Crane to reach for his gun. What medication was Crane about to give Wesker? Some kind of fear toxin. This is so cool. I thought I recognized the smell. The hole in this rug came from acrolein, a highly toxic chemical. Crane wouldn't have used acrolein by itself. He must have mixed this with another chemical to administer the drug. A chemical trace will reveal if there's acrolein anywhere else in the room. Trace initiated. Hmm. Here we go. A compound containing acrolein was stored in this bottle. Crane must have left it behind by accident. There must be more evidence here about Crane's experiments. I'll keep looking. Let's unlock this. What is this locking? No time for a full diagnostic. Fear I want a targeted itself. search for files related to Crane's experiments. Here we go. 
Perform targeted search. Okay, so we could go Tiger Database, Dr. Quinzel's research, Project Umbra. Quinzel lied about acting in self-defense, but the evidence backs up the rest of her story. Her files are of no use. Whatever Crane's up to, it's above Tiger's pay grade. Searching their database won't help me. Project Umbra. Project Umbra. These files have a unique encryption signature. Whatever Crane was working on was top secret. The files contain months of research on an experimental formula. Crane was using Wesker as a test subject. Alfred, sending you information on something called Project Umbra. Crane's been experimenting on inmates. Receiving, sir. Umbra records updated. Access granted, you handsome devil. Crane. <sighs> oh, that was his audio yeah. right there. Alright, let's go. Holy Toledo! This way, Bats! Follow you. I knew he had a secret lab! Is that Wesker? Hey! Crane! Hey. No more Miss Professional. Unless you mean the part where I professionally kick your ass. Ah! It's him! You see that, Bats? It's him! He's the Rat King. I knew it. We gotta get Wesker out of there before he kills him. Crane! Alright guys, that'll do for part 9 of my playthrough of Batman Arkham Shadow on the Meta Quest 3. Gotta stop Crane. I can't wait to see what they do with the Scarecrow. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for my part 10 of Batman Arkham Shadow and more of my VR playthroughs, reviews, and news. Any support you show would really mean a lot to help my small channel grow. Also comment if you'd like to see me play in the game in particular. Thanks for hanging out already players, and I'll catch you in the next one.